Hello and welcome to Tungsten Tales, your world match play previews, brought to you in association with Bet Victor. I'm John Scott, and I'm with Chris Macy Ace Mason. And our next game to preview is Sunday evening. It's Mensa Sulovic and Steve Beaton. Uh, Go so on, you can crack the stat it's out. It's a surprising stat on this <laughs> one. The head-to-head, -head, Mensa Sulovic has never beaten. Eight nil. The, Ad the Adonis. It's yeah, the 1996 world champion. I mean, 22 years ago, uh, and he's still at it. Uh, in incredible, and still qualifying for these these yeah. majors. Probably, you know, match play one of the toughest ones to qualify for. Uh, he's played in it many, many times. In fact, I've got a win over him at the match play, 13-5, I do believe, <laughs> a quarter final way back when. <laughs> um, even when that was when I think the Model T Ford might have been out. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, it's an incredible start, eight nil. Uh, Mensa Silovic has been incredible this year. Uh, he's won two of the big uh, Euro Tour events, uh, Champions League winner yep. uh, last September. Uh, it's, it's, that's, we've gone on some ridiculous runs of yeah. uh, of tournaments. I believe he's only failed to cash in one what? event since April 2017. Yeah. And that's, that's the that's epitome of consistency. Because the, the way the Tour is now, first rounds are not the old way where you think well first round I'm a seed I might get a little mm. bit of a touch had here, a disastrous but... Premier League which was yeah. which was a surprise to me because I thought that would have been but he had a break at that time of the year he didn't play any floor tournaments no. during that spell so whether he was I don't think not it match fit yeah. Or... yeah I just don't think it works I think some players do try different things whether it can rejuvenate or refresh uh, on that occasion that was a that was a bad call by Mensah but he does that he, he goes he, he, he literally will pick and choose the events he chooses to play in, and uh, and it works. You know, for the for the large part, it works. He's unless a, he plays Steve Beaton. Unless he plays Steve Beaton, yeah, <laughs> which it's just the most bizarre stat. Uh, when I was do, looking it up for this, you know, to do uh, to do the preview, I, I was massively shocked. Um, more, not as much as I'm shocked by the book is go one to four. Um, never lost to a player, and you make him one to four. Steve Beaton is a big dog at three to one. Um, and again, uh, like we previewed in other matches, it's only a matter of time. And, and you would think the way Steve Beaton plays, Mensa would be a nightmare for him because he can get no rhythm. Mensa is so slow, so deliberate. Uh, you would think Steve would really struggle, but um, obviously not. 8-0. Uh, I think Mensa will, will find a way to win. Uh, I like over 15.5 legs at 4-6. to six. Um, even if Steve manages to beat him for a ninth time, uh, I don't think he'll beat him convincingly. Yeah. Uh, Mentz is just too solid, uh, very solid on throw. That's the thing, v loses very few legs with darts. Um, and one of the one of the highest stats uh, for breaking a, a, a player's throw. Uh, so, yeah, maybe the EBGBs will be there. Maybe if he's his bogey player, uh, maybe Steve will run out a winner. Uh, if he does, it'll be tight. And I think if it goes the other way to Mensah and he gets his first win in, in eight or nine, as it will be then, uh, I think it will be a, a tight match. So over 15.5 legs, four to six uh, is my bet in this one.